Hello there, my fallen ones, and today I wanted to go over something I'm actually quite passionate about. It's about Project Slayers now. As all of you know, the combat has always been an issue for me, and I've still uploaded the game because I enjoy it a lot, but I've actually been wanting to go over a couple things about it, so... Sub like, I have one thing of you are, and let's get into it. We're gonna be going over why Project Sarah's combat falls flat now. We can easily go over a bunch of points in this video, but I have a main six different talking ones, so... Watch the video till the end to get my entire opinion, and then comment yours below. First of all, we're going to be comparing it to other PvP games, just so we know where we can tier it, because obviously, you can't be critical of something unless you have things to compare it with. You can't just say, oh, this combat falls flat to the stuff on the platform, if you can't give opinions of things that are already really good or bad on the platform. So first of all, we're going to be going over Rogue Demon. Now, Rogue Demon it has very similar combat to Project Series. If not, you could call it less advanced. But for me, it works for the game because it's M1's moves with evasive and ultimates. That's basically this game. But the way that Rogue Demon makes it work is because it's only a Battlegrounds game. And there's not really as big infinite combos. The longest combo in that game lasts maybe 8 seconds. In this game, it can last 20 seconds. <laughs> it's ridiculous, to be fair. Although in Rogue Demon, 8 seconds, you'll barely ever see anybody who uses it. And the HP is very, very, not really high, so, really, when you get caught by a combo, you can survive maybe two of them. But the evasives are there, which is good now. This segues into my next one, where... Demon Fall is a really good opinion of amazing combat on Roblox. Ignoring all of the balance issues with Stone Breathing and all that, the Roji. Let's just take a moment to appreciate Demon Fall is really they have lunges, rushes, parrying M1s, counters that act as evasives to moves and actually only parry will be counters to actual M1s or M2s. And then you have the M2s to break through the block or you can regular block and then you have your evasives as well along with combo extensions and starters and enders. So overall, I think we can all agree that Demon Fall has some really good PvP. Project Slayer's combat system, I was gonna call it lazy, but if you really do think about it, I suppose it's better than Rogue Demon, but not, but still worse than Rogue Demon. On on paper, it's better than Rogue Demon, but in play style, when you put it into practice, it is much worse than Rogue Demon, so. Comparing it to other Demon Slayer games is a pretty C plus combat system because of what happens in it. Although I will say the effects are beautiful, but this isn't me gonna be nice to Project Slayer, this is a video to criticize it. The evasion system. Now, this is a big issue. I think everybody understands when I say this. The evasion system. The only time you get that dodge. Here's my biggest issue. You only have three evasion points. If you use all of them, now you can't evade anymore. That's stupid. You should have infinite evasion points. And the bar that charges up, it should stay charged up. You shouldn't be able to- this is something that a lot of people do. You'll get comboed, right? You're about to use your evasive, they stop the combo. Okay, I'm out of the combo, whatever. Your evasion bar goes, they catch you with another combo. Well, now I'm doomed. The evasion bar should stay where it was even after the combo, so you can evade later. That's one thing they need to do. Two, it takes too damn long to fill it up. If I'm fighting max level, that one of their combos gets me to 30% HP before I can evade, and even most of the time, they know when I'm going to be able to evade. Somehow, magically, some Houdini magic, so... They just stop comboing me, and then land another combo when I expect them to continue so I can use my evasive. Which is really a big shame. And the infinite combos like M1s, M1s, M1s move, M1s move, M1s move, it's just not fun. When you're doing the combos, I can say that it's, it's somewhat enjoyable, not really though, because a lot of time you can drop the combos very easily. But for this game, when you're getting comboed, it's you're just sitting there. Listen, I don't, I don't mind getting hit in games. But if I'm being hit for more than 5 seconds in a combo, and it's, it, it better be a cutscene, because unless it's a cutscene, there's no reason a combo in any fighting game should be over 5 seconds, because that's ridiculous. I, I don't mind taking punishment being hit, but you sh don't, shouldn't expect me to sit there and just watch me get decimated for 5 seconds straight, that's just boring. And this is a really big other one too, the GPO-like item grind to be able to compete in PvP. Now GPO! You get items, and it keeps the trading market alive, so... GPO's trading system is actually S-tier on Roblox. It's really, really damn good. With how the pricing works, it gets the community to interact with each other, all the builds to be able to be harder to get, the new fruits, you know, it fluctuates. It's like a real economic thing, which is really cool to me. I love how the whole community is overall. Shout out to GPO players, but, um... I will say, the thing in this game, Project Series, they also have boss drops, but the thing about it is... You need, when you get a breathing, let's say sound breathing, you can do 15% extra damage with sound breathing, and that's great and all, 
but you need to get the sound breathing katanas first rather than just getting the katanas on getting it you have to get like a one percent drop from a boss just to have the correct katana that's ridiculous and on top of all of that you need at least five of the best accessories just to be able to compete and some of the scythes are hard to get some of the other abilities are hard to get if you don't have good rng you're gonna be playing the game for 50 damn years and there's no pity system my boy so this ain't Genshin Impact. You're not going to be pitied on by the gods and then given something good. You're going to suffer for like 10 days straight with no abilities that can be supported by any good equipment, which is truly a shame. Now for my last point here. I have been talking about how bad the combat is, but I will say the highlights of this game. Final selection and Mugen Train and Wave Mode, those three, are really good things in the game. I think Wave Mode can be really fun with friends. Mugen Train's good with friends as well. Final Selection is brilliant. I think they did a great job on that. I believe that Entertainment District arc, and when they add all the other bits of story like Infinity Castle, those are what the game is going to shine for. The Story Mode is amazing. I lump in Mugen Train for Story Mode, by the way. It's really, really well done. I do love it. But they really need to work on the combat or give it some sort of revamp, because this is ridiculous. Hope you enjoy my follow ones. I need to go abroad. Be seeing ya.